Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. We have Save Me. A heart shattered too many times, a lost soul in need of a healing touch. So what I am gathering here is a certain person in your past is going to reach out for your help, for that Cancerian TLC. When in reality, they've done so much damage to you that you're the one that, you know, needs a little TLC. So let's see. For those of you that doesn't know what TLC means, it's tender loving care, right? So um, let's see what's going on here. A few cards for you. A few cards for them and then the outcome if this resonates with you cancer please like share and subscribe leave me a comment i would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all cancer please do check your moon your rising and your venus sign as this will not resonate with every cancer out there cross watchers please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for cancer love lust or loss for cancer love lust or loss for cancer let's see well Good luck to them. You're going to be very dry in your response. They're going to feel quite rejected and like, why? Careful. Careful. I feel like they're going to create a scenario to try to get back in there. Okay. All right. So... Everybody needs some healing. I feel like you've had to do your healing on your own. And at this point, you're full on in your power. And you're looking at this person like, what do you want? <laughs> right? so, um, they're they're going to have to change. This is a plot. And it's thickening. You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with... Virgo in their chart. Been very quiet between the two of you for um, a while and they're feeling rejected. You're not giving them any attention. You're not there for them. You're not their shoulder to cry on anymore because you're pissed. So they're definitely going to break this silence with some sort of scenario and yeah, maybe they're under some sort of a stress here. But here's the thing. They put you under such mental turmoil here. They hurt you. And you've got a new attitude when it comes to this individual. A whole new attitude. You've had to heal on their own. They're over here doing soul searching, trying to figure out, okay, how do I get back in there? with my cancer so that what they're going to attempt to do is pull on your heartstrings because they know how loving and caring and generous you are and you just want to help and fix and love and and um that's not what you're doing these days so they they may have picked a bad time to come back around that's all I'm saying. So here they come, coming back around. Hopeful, hoping that you'll open back up to them. Maybe they have apologies. They want to get they want to get the emotions flowing again with this Knight of Cups. 
Look at that. Definitely maybe some apologies here. You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. I feel like you've already made up your mind about this person. They're going to say they've changed all these things and, you know, you are their fate, you are their destiny, all these wonderful things. But you're on, you're on a different path here and I feel like your mind has already been made up and they're wondering, okay, why isn't, why isn't cancer paying any attention to me? Can I get cancer to give me attention, give me love again, right? So they've got apologies. You are, sorry if you can hear some sort of mowing going on. I'm not sure what's going on out there. Three of Cups, right? They want to spend time with you. They want to see you again. And I feel like they're going to create a scenario where um, they're going to do that, even if they just pop up out of freaking nowhere. This one is something else. So they they want to get back to good. They want to get back to where you make them feel good while they make you feel terrible. And I feel like you realize this. You're, it's like you've got your groove back. You're out there, you're enjoying life. And they're over here almost kind of watching it and suffering because you, you're enjoying yourself. You've got your groove back essentially. And if you haven't, you should. So you got a new attitude over here. When this person comes back around with all this lovey-dovey emotional, I, you know, something's happened and um, I need, I need you. I need you, right? I've changed. I still have feelings for you. I need you. You're like, mm, maybe not. Very blocked energy here. Two of swords. And then you're in this state of mind, Queen of Wands energy, pissed, okay? And you are just, you got a new attitude going on. And you're spending time with other energies, you're enjoying your life, you've got your fire back after you've had to heal from this individual. And so, you can be dealing with a fire sign, by the way. The passion is still there because we got the Queen of Wands and we got the King of Wands. You definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. But your response to this person is going to be very dry, matter of fact. Maybe, you know, you give them some sort of advice or something, but it's not at all emotional on your end. It's them that's going to be emotional towards you. So, you see, you're not paying attention to them anymore because too much has happened. And here they come, and you're just like, eh, I'm kind of bored with, with this cycle here. They're going crazy. We got the Four of Cups. They're going out of their mind because they see you out there. They know that you are, like, living life and enjoying your life again and being happy. And... They can't, they're having a hard time understanding this new attitude you've got. But what's, what's happening here is you're fed up with their bullshit. So they're the ones that are losing their mind. So what they're going to do is try to create a scenario where they're going to try to pull you back in, pull on your heartstrings and try to get you to help them through something, right? So just be very much aware of that. It, maybe something has happened to with this individual, but the fact of the matter is, is they're reaching out to you to pull you back in, okay? To make you uh, get your emotions flowing for them again. They could reach out to, to anybody. This is a plot, okay? So... We have the star card, we have the death card, and we've got this king of wands energy. They still want this. They're going to say that they've changed. They don't want this ending. You are what they're wishing for. You are their fate. You are their destiny. Um, can you help me? Can you heal me? The star card is very healing energy. But they've picked the wrong time to come in 
and start doing this. Because you're not in the mood. Okay, you're doing other things. You're busy. And they may just have to accept the fact that this is over. You've transformed. You've outgrown them. And you are on to bigger and better things. You are on to wish fulfillment where they could never give you that wish fulfillment. So, again, sorry about the mowing, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on out there. Um, but love, lust, or loss for cancer. This person is going to realize that you've changed. And they've and they've lost. That's what's going to happen here. All right, Cancer. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless.